guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Angela. And I wanted to do a video that I wanted to do in January, but I just had so many decks. And I am recording on an old phone. Uh, I All my videos get recorded on an old phone that has limited time on it. Uh, so, I had just too many decks in January that I worked with because I kept going back and forth between light decks and heavy dark decks. <clears throat> um, so, I wanted to show you guys what I've been working with in February, now that we're a week and a half from it being over, which is odd. Today is uh, February 17th, 2024, Saturday. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys, I still have that feeling that I wanted to show you guys what I've been working with versus what I got in the month. Most of these, a lot of these I got in the month or, or in January, but um, I go with my gut every week, whatever I need to work with. It, like I said, in January, I had, you know, stints put in my heart. I had a bunch of other stuff happening. And there was a couple weeks there where I had to work with something light and beautiful. And I worked with very summery decks um, for like two weeks. And then I was able to go back into like the darker parts of the year deck because we are in February. Even though we've had unusually seasonably warm February. It's been in the 60s. Um, Thursday, it was almost 70. And then it snowed yesterday. It was in the 20s. <laughs> so that's weather in the Midwest for you in the U.S. So I just want to show you guys what I've been working with and what I can't put down um, and what seems like I may never, never put down. Um, anyway, um, and then I'm going to show you guys this Twix iced coffee. Oh my God, it is so good. I'm trying new things this year, and this was one of them. I don't like iced coffee, but this is like a um, Twix you hoo It's so good. Anyway, that's what I'm drinking today. So, a deck I got in January that I could not put down, and have not still put down, is the Urban Oracle, Urban Crow Oracle by MJ Cullohan. This is a Hay House deck. Um... <clears throat> I've not been able to put this down. I love the matte cardstock. I love how it shuffles. And when I do a tarot spread for a spirit, I do um, the oracle decks I use for what did you learn in life, what did you learn in death. And this deck has been like insane. Uh, insane. Insane. <laughs> Which is part of why I've not been able to put it down. Anything that helps my mediumship practice move along at a, a nice um, pace uh, is amazing. And this deck helped with that. Uh, it was crazy. And so I love, 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 love. I knew I would love. This has been on my wish list for a long time. And I finally bit the bullet in January. Bought the deck. And OMG, I've not been able to put it down. It has been stunning. Stunning. And working with it, because it's another deck that I have not purchased, uh, that has always been on my list, which is the Hush Tarot by Jeremy Hush. This is a U.S. Games deck. Um, I've not been able to put this down either. And I'm like... There's a reason why, and it's kind of been an experiment. These are much smaller cards. They're like a mint, a small oracle size. They also shuffle. Amazing. I love the backs. I love the fronts. And I might have this backwards. Um, it is a gorgeous, even though there's a couple snakes in there. It is a gorgeous deck. I don't need the book for it. Um, a lot of people are like, oh, it's very non RWS. That's the point of it. First of all, if you've been watching my channel for any period of time, I gravitate toward decks that are very far removed from RWS. Um, I did, that's not to say I didn't learn on RWS, but when it does its own thing and takes me outside the RWS bubble, I'm intrigued. And this deck does that and it really hit home why, especially with these two decks, why I've had them on my list for so long since pretty much the beginning of my tarot journey. I don't know if the Crow Oracle was out um, 
because I started my tarot journey in 2019, like the very tail end of 2019. Um, I don't know if this is out, but I know this was. This has always been on my list and I just never got it because I was like, oh, it's so far out there. I may not understand it, but I got it in the mail and it was immediate, immediate affection, immediate love. And I'm just like, oh, I love you. <laughs> So I've been pairing these two together and they are just phenomenal, 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 phenomenal. Um, yeah, phenomenal together. I love them. <laughs> I love them together. I had a hard time putting them down. Um, the urban crow oracle i've been splitting my time between it and the Embok oracle um seasons of the witch this is only the second season of the witch deck i have see there's only one more that i've been drawn to i for some reason i'm digging the blue on the backs um uh it's been stunning also so i've gone back to the acknowledging the darker parts of the year um and again, this is a deck I use for um, that question. Uh, any of my Oracle decks, especially ones with keywords, I use for that question. What did you learn in life? What did you learn in death? And it's been phenomenal. And pairing it with the Hush Tarot was also freaking phenomenal. Um, I'm just like losing my mind. <laughs> it's been so beautiful and i'm just like they don't look good aesthetically but the messages i was getting was just fan freaking fantastic um and i've drawn this card so i like almost every day i've drawn this card um and it's almost like um uh, uh this cycle of nature and life and birth and death and there's just it was a whole thing and i'm like what is happening <laughs> but i mean yeah they don't look good aesthetically but to energetically these decks are phenomenal together um there was a lot of things that came up from that and i just think they were stunning stunning together um so i first half of the month i was working with the seasons of the witch because of in bulk um it starts february 1st and then the last week or so, I've gravitated back toward the the Crow, Urban Crow Oracle, um, working with the Hush Tarot. The Hush Tarot, I've worked with most of the month so far. It was only this last week where something was like, you need something else to work with. I'm like, why? I'm having so much fun with the Hush Tarot. Um, and then, for some reason, I literally... Um, like the last Sunday, the day before is the, it was Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, literally within 30 minutes of me going to go to bed, something said, Hey, you need to pull these two ducks off the shelf because I work a lot of, um, tarot together. So I pulled off, um, actually in this deck, I've been pairing. This is a Metamuse tarot. I just got a couple weeks ago. I've been working with it. With the Hush Tarot <clears throat> and the, uh, actually, we haven't really been working with it with anything. It's thin, but it shuffles amazing. It's got this gold gilding. Um, this has been my personal <clears throat> what to expect the rest of the day kind of deck. Uh, because I do have medium ship spread in the mornings on my break, first break in the, in the morning at work, just because I have a lot of energy surrounding me at my job. And then at lunchtime, I will pull a deck, a card for myself. Um, and then this is the deck I use pretty much all month <laughs> since I've got this deck. This is the deck I've been using for my personal use and I love it. And there was a couple days I did pair it with the Hush Tarot and a couple other things. And I'm just like, what is happening? It's stunning. And it actually helps have this splash of color in with those darker decks. I really, really appreciated the um lighter the pops of color in that because even though we're in february i mean this whole month what is this happening that's the hush tarot i'm trying to put that in oh my gosh uh i don't know where the back went i'm just totally 
they're stuck in there now. They're coming out. There's the box. I'm trying to shove them in there and they don't go in there. <laughs> I'll have to deal with that. Oh, I got them. I think I bit a couple cards, but they're very bendy, so they've been back very easily. Very easily. Yeah, look at that. They all went in there. So the Metamuse Tarot is the de deck I've been using for myself pretty much the whole month. Um, <clears throat> and then these other decks, uh, something told me to get them out. The Surrealist Tarot by Los Carabero. It's by Luigi D.G. Marino. Um, I love the stack. I've used it a, f a lot. The box is starting to fray really bad. I need to get a, a bag made for it. It's typical low scare barrel, tuck box, card stock. Um, anytime, and I realized this yesterday, uh, because I, Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday, it was like, take me out. I'm like, why? And then I'm like, I don't have nothing to pair you with. And then I heard, pair it with this. I'm like, oh, and I paired them all week. And let me tell you, amazing together. <laughs> Um, but anytime I get the Surrealist Tarot out, it's either wanting me to contemplate dreams or do a spread on futuristic, like, happenings, world events, things like that. And, uh, I haven't yet done the world event thing, but, uh, it's almost like it's reacquainting itself with me this past week. Um, and, uh... It was just like, yeah, get me out, play with me, and then we'll do some serious stuff. And I'm still called to work with it. So this next week will be the, this will be the, the, one of the decks I work with. This and the, uh, Guardians, the Urban Crow Oracle is also the deck I'm using. So for the Oracle, but this deck is stunning. And anytime I have to get this out, it's basically telling me it's time to do a future spread. So, I pulled that out, <clears throat> and then with it, I pulled out also a low scare barrel deck, uh, which I fell instantly in love with when I got. It is the Circe Tarot, um, and I don't know what it is. Um, I edged this one in like a maroon to match the backs. I don't know what it is about these two decks. They go, they're the same cardstock, same everything. This one has a little bit darker tones. It's supposed to be based on Greek goddess, gods and goddesses, this one. And I fell instantly in love with it when I got it back in September, October, somewhere in there in 2023, uh, when it came out. And then something said, pair it with this deck. And I'm like, but why? They're not going to go together. And they're fabulous fabulous together i don't know what it is <laughs> but the messages are insanely beautiful and i'm like what is happening um and so anytime and i would just say that that's a word of advice to anybody out there if you've got a lot of decks <clears throat> and all of a sudden you have a deck pop in your mind it may not be your mind that's popping that in there it may be a spirit, a loved one, an ancestor, uh, a guide telling you, hey, it's time to work with this specific deck. And I had two pop in my mind and they're just stunning, stunning together. Um, I've gotten some really great messages this week. And uh, of course I use, yeah, these, this was the spirit. This actually was the spirit here that pulled up with these, the three of cups and the six of wands. And I'm like, and it was a darker kind of connotations with these two decks together. It's kind of a darker, not more sinister, but darker things happening. And I was like, that's interesting that it's almost like it predicted some things that happened because this is my deck of predictions of futuristic things happening. Um, it almost like it was like, okay, this is going to happen and this person is going to die. Um, it was very it, much darker than I thought, it, but it was so interesting to see the dynamic play out um, after the fact. And I'm like, that's that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Um, but yeah, it's these two were beautiful together. I was shocked. I was stunned. It's almost like 
a guide or somewhere out there, somebody helped deepen my mediumship practice in this way because of these two decks this week. And I'm like, that's, that's interesting. Very interesting. So I've worked with those the last week with the Urban Crow Oracle. And in the beginning of the month, when I worked with, um, cause I also have been incorporating playing cards a lot. If you haven't watched my channel, I've been buying playing card decks left and right for some reason here lately. And I don't know why. And now I know why, because I'm incorporating them into the spread I do for mediumship readings. The, <clears throat> this is the playing card Oracle divination deck. It's by us games. It's like 12 bucks. Um, these are the backs. I've been using playing cards as kind of like an accent to the reading at the end to kind of book in any other messages they have. They have four chances and it goes in the corners of the spread that I do. And I just found that super interesting how the playing cards were working out. And this one was used in the very beginning. I used it with the Hush Tarot and the Invoke Oracle, which matched perfectly with it. Um, and what a, and uh, the Madam used Tarot a little bit. But I was shocked at how well they all played together. And I'm like, this is interesting, interesting. Uh, this is why I keep buying all these playing cards. And it actually really started with the Beyond the Veil playing cards with uh by mj cullinane in the beginning of uh, in january uh with using the the playing cards as a like a bookend to on the outer edges of the spread i use um to kind of give for the gives the spirit moments to really um give you extra messages or whatever and then i started using uh i love this i bought this last year um, the darker version of this deck, there's a shadow, this is the clarity version, there's a shadow version of this deck, uh, playing cards also, I used this a little bit last week, um, couple days, it has keywords on it, this is a great deck for divination, this is a great deck for mediumship work, I think, I love it, every card is different, um, it's got the linen card stock, it's beautiful. And again, anytime I use a playing card deck, I've been using it for that specific spread. And if you guys want me to show you that spread, it's expanded quite a bit from the first time I started using it or created it. <clears throat> and then I got these conjure cards a few days ago. So I replaced that deck with this deck. And oh my God, <laughs> this actually has a little book. This is by Wiser Books. Um, they're bigger than normal playing card size. Just playing card size normal and look how much bigger they are. They're more of a mini oracle size. I love the backs. Um, they're gorgeous. They're stunning. They have their own divinatory meeting in the book and I freaking love it. Um, and I was just like, yep, totally going to work with this. And it was an immediate, immediately... So this last week I've been using the Surrealist Tarot, the Circe Tarot, this deck, and the Urban Crow Oracle all together in a spread for mediumship work. And let me tell you, there's a reason why we work with those. <clears throat> so, oh, 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 I didn't even get those out. That's the deck I was working with, the Crow Tarot. I mean, the uh, Hush Oracle, uh, or the Hush Tarot deck is the secret tarot of the secret forest I, this is one of my older decks i have freaking loved it to death the top's gone the box is like shot i edged it in black it has black and white backs um where's the hush tarot uh well let me tell you right now <laughs> these two together are fantastic fan freaking tastic together um, they have the same coloring, um, they have the same, uh, everything. It's just, it's stunning together. Um, I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it to pieces. Um, and the messages I've gotten were just amazing. This got dropped earlier, so there's, most of them are either upside down or sideways or whatever. This is, is Tarot of the Secret Force is amazing. Um, I was using it nonstop with the Hush Tarot for like two weeks. 
um, along with the Inbuck Oracle and the uh, those other playing cards I showed you. But yeah, they were fantastic. So before I run out of time, real quick, <clears throat> show you the deck I'm going to be working with. The Mystic Palette Tarot, the Tarot Marchetti uh, Sepia version. This is by Llewellyn. It is the deck I just got in the mail yesterday. Um, <sighs> stunning, stunning deck. Stunning, stunning deck. Stunning. I love it. I love that. The face is gorgeous. I love this drink card. So that's the deck I will be working with here probably for the rest of the month um, along with the Urban Crow Oracle. I'm not going to say no, that I'm not going to not work with these because I have the Crow Tarot and the Wild Dog Tarot coming uh, because I broke down <laughs> um, and bought it because I love this deck so freaking much. And I'm like, I never had a affinity for the Crow Tarot. But here lately, all the decks of hers I've been buying and how well they I work with them, I'm just like, I need it. I need it. So, I decided to uh, work with that. And then, uh, if you guys want me to, I can show you all the decks that I've worked with with the Hush Tarot. Like... Um, that I think would pair good with Hush Tarot because I, th I think I have quite a few. But this this has been the star right here, the Urban Crow Oracle. Uh, this and the Embok Oracle really has been the stars uh, of January and February. I just cannot seem to put either of them down. Uh, when I stop working with one, I pick up the other. So anyway, that's the decks I want to show you guys that I've been working with in February. I know we still have a week and a half left in it. But for the most part, unless I decide to work with the Crow Tarot or the or Wild Dog Tarot, I will be working with the Mystic Palette Tarot. Just trying to kind of um, regroup with that deck because I do have the colored indie version. Um, so it'll be like working two decks, but they're different because one's sepia colored and one's colored. So anyway, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, don't hesitate to comment below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification button so you're loaded to any future videos and y'all have a good night.